everyone, this is Doc LG. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to discuss the difference between the significance of the study and a research contribution. As we discuss this, we will also go through their importance, how can significance of the study be written, and how can a research study be called significant or valuable. Significance of the study and research contribution are two vital subcomponents of a research study but have different roles and contents located in two different chapters of your study. However, they are sometimes used alternately to the confusion and because they are somewhat connected. So without further ado, let's begin discussing significance of the study. During your research proposal, it will be your opportunity to explain the significance of your research, that is, to convince others, particularly the panels, that your study has great potential and importance to the academic community and relevant to current issues, thus, your study is worth to be sought. Ultimately, it describes the value and importance of it, especially the importance of resolving issues or problems proposed and who will be benefited of which you specify on chapter 1, significance of the study. And so, there are mainly the people or group of people that you have included in your statement of the problem who are currently experiencing the issues that you seek to resolve, of which commonly focus on students as the primary stakeholders or the group of people that have a great role in the academy such as teachers and administrators of which the same group who might later participate as respondents and of course future researchers as concept research plays an important role in resolving issues exploration adaptation of new trends and experimentation as well as in shaping the future your statement of the problem will serve as a guide in identifying the significance of your study as well as the contributions of your study. Just look at the people indicated plus the issue to resolve and in what way they will benefit after your study is completed. Keeping in mind this question, what is your research contributing to the literature in your field? Let's for the following examples I made to specific issues as to be mentioned. Check it out. Here are some of the common issues that are mostly encountered in education being addressed to specific people in schools. Through these examples, you'll be able to more simply curtail the significance of your study. Among the top priorities are the students. The significance of the study could be stated like this depending on the issues to be resolved. This will be an instrument in the enhancement of a student's learning performance. It will be a tool in the improvement of students' competency. Another example is it will strengthen students' employability skills. It will help improve their academic achievement or performance. For instance, topic about AI chat GPT, this might be syllable. It will broaden the student's understanding about AI chat GPT and how to be a responsible user. For issues about students' reading comprehension, this might be applicable. It is an effective strategy in improving students' reading comprehension. As for teachers, some common issues related and how they are benefited could be stated as follows. Say for instance, it has a great impact in improving teaching and learning. Next example is, this would equip teachers with a broad understanding of diverse teaching methods for more effective and meaningful learning experiences. Another example is, through this, teachers will advance their knowledge and applications of AI tools and IT infrastructures. I made some examples geared towards the benefits for administrators intended only for particular issues. The first one is, this will be a keystone in the improvement of the educational system which can be the basis of evaluation of quality education and excellence. And our last example is, it will enlighten administrators in the adaptation and procurement of IT infrastructures in the school. 
Let's explore some examples of significance of a study meant for curriculum developers for you to get ideas. One of these is this will pave the way for the inclusion or adjustment of updated courses to produce future-proof graduates. Another instance for them to conduct Future proofing by inculcating the necessary skills in preparing students with the evolving trends of the AI age. And the last example is this will be crucial to the realignment or adjustment of the curriculum. No matter what the issues are, it always goes in one goal and that is to contribute to curriculum development. For the benefit of Ministry of Education, which we call Department of Education and Commission on Higher Education in the Philippines, I picked the following examples for you to check out. Say, so in this kind of issue, it will shed light on the implementation and adjustment of K-12 program to develop future-proof graduates that could stand the test of time. This could also be applicable in any courses in college. And the last item is future researchers, which we put at the bottom of all beneficiaries. There are many styles in stating how they will benefit in a particular study. It is commonly written like this. This will be used as a basis of further studies and their research literature. Now let's go to the question, how can a research study be called significant or valuable? So, for a research to be significant, first, it is beyond existing knowledge. Second, it is relevant to specific people in the academic fields and the issues raised in the statement of the problem. And the third one, it implies how it will contribute, make a change, or what is its impact in your field. Next, it should be timely to address current issues raised and subsequent needs. Moreover, it should suffice the current interest in the academic sphere. And lastly, it is more valuable if it's cited for its future importance in order to be sustainable. Now let's wind down this video by discussing the last part. The research contribution. A research contribution is the outcome or the result after you conducted a thorough study, particularly the new evidence you gathered knowledge or insight to the right and recommendations of which will be an important contribution in the literature. It is the findings of your study. The main findings present the results and outcomes of the study and are the answers to the research questions. This explains what you have proven. And the recommendations explains the solutions to the problems raised based on the findings and conclusions presented. This answers the question, how can the problems be resolved? It is called contributions of a study because your research has proven something that others haven't. Thus, your conclusions and recommendations would shed light in addressing problems. We will discuss the different types of contributions soon, so please stay tuned and support this channel by subscribing. Thank you for watching. Mabuhay!